<laughs> Welcome, everybody. We've got a group C matchup here for you. It came a little late. This one had gotten a little lost in translation, but we got Zexus versus Darcia. Gonna be Gin here on Palace. Zexus having at this point already cemented himself as first seed. With a win over Zanxus, Shadow Shield, and Sandal, all of the contenders for second place and first place. Looks like he's having a little bit of aura troubles. Overwrites the decoy. Not sure why he's got decoy in a 1v1, but Dragon Slayer will take the shield. See if he gets some aura now. That'll put him up a little bit better. If he waits for a few more aura, he'll have his combo as well. Looks like he's just going to get down there and get busy with that Tiger Strength Flame Sword, though. Maybe. Decides to overwrite the glacial wall. And there's a flash hole in it. Ooh, he's gonna miss the block. Right there. Takes the willow. Besides that is worth... Uh, goodness. The things I see you overwrite, it, it pains me. Drops the Tiger Strength. Has his Flame Sword in pursuit now. Gonna land the combo. Darcia doesn't manage to answer back with his own Flame Sword either. Continues to overwrite, and I can only imagine to find another Tiger Strength or maybe a Heat. I feel like overriding the Glacial Wall earlier and keeping the Tiger Strength would have been a better move. Kai Bullet now shows the Glacial Wall that he can no longer break because of a lack of Tiger Strength. Dragon Slayer will rectify this situation, though. If he'd been a little bit closer, he could have pulled off the Flame Sword Pursuit with that. There we go. Lines it up nicely, and that'll be a second Flame Sword Pursuit combo. With the Tiger Strength, that would have been game already. Ooh, Darcia just manages to get away from that one. Turbulence would have taken away the Tiger Strength that would have already won the game. But Tiger Strength was dropped. Nice block. Trades four damage with the Bullet of Fire. Darcia now uses a Stimulate. Looks like a Lunar Force there. You know, thinking about this sea faith nature, I'm not sure I like the full build of it that I've seen so far, like some of the skills in it. But it, you know, I've been a long time proponent of not liking three school arsenals, but I have to admit, Zexus is making me want to play one with this build. Being able to have the uh, nature Kai combo with pursuit and all the melee. But then being able to pack flash holes into that would just be too much to pass up on, in my opinion. I, I, I almost want to go make one at this point. I really do like being able to pack a flash hole or two with the, the brutal attacks that you can get from nature and Kai together. I think personally, I definitely want to switch one of those to an R backflow and make sure there's a reincarnation because we haven't seen the reincarnation out of there. Key bullet, I think I'd pass on. Maybe an ice sword. Yeah. 
There we go. Nice sword fake, and that'll be game one to Zexus. Executing the arsenal very nicely. Take a big, pretty big hit from that lightning sword from Darcia there. Game two is going to be on Panorama. See a swift flow in hand. Zexus having converted to the ways of Shadow Shield. Looking to land himself a dance of death. After having a close series with him, looks like he's get, gained some respect. This version running Optic, wanting to paralyze Barrier into the Dance of Death, however, his lack of aura will make that difficult. He still has a 14 damage dance. That Darcia can only hope to block. Though the better call might be just staying away from it. Oh, the Shatter will take his opt optimization. And you can hear that Zexus is vocally upset about that one. Did not like losing his opti. Wanted to be able to hit that paralyze with the dance. Doesn't want to overwrite the hyper kick. He is willing to pick up the photon wave, it looks like, for a quick overwrite. Broke the glacial wall, but doesn't stay on the attack. Has the pin down with this version too. Pin down and paralyze barrier with the opti. There goes a reduce entropy, and that is going to shut everything down. Let's see, optic key. Unless there's another school that I haven't seen, uh, there is no environmental killer there. But he could win with a hyper kick. Garcia is not careful. He does have the hyper kick. And mechanics alone could win him this game. And Darcia having a rough time with it. Oh, doesn't make it back to base. He used to be walking these. And avoiding staircases. No shield versus the hyper kick. And Zexus will just finish him off with just that hyper kick. Not able to pull off the combo, but we've all seen it now. Anybody who faces Zexus in the next round, be wary. The paralyzed optimization dance of death got pinned down as well. Looks like he's got a memory deck that he's running here. Getting a little bit of lag. I'm not sure if that's... My YouTube video lagging, or if that was a little bit of in-game lag. Heat already on, Rian and Vacuum Slash in hand. Six Aura, Zexus is in a very good spot. A Ray Shell gonna be broken, and Darcia can't stand there so brazenly, just staring that reincarnation down. He has to know, he has to hide. Zexus, not gonna play that game for now. Looks like he wants to retreat back to base. Makes himself an escape pathway and then doesn't use it. And doesn't take that window right there to hit Darcia. Picks up two iron skins. Drops one for the memory. Darcia relearns the capsule. I'm just going to go ahead and guess that this is Zexus' own inherent lag. Not mine. Gonna trade a violent change for one Rian. Zexus, though, has him shieldless here versus the reincarnation. Oh, and it hits him out of the air, too. Tragic for Darcia there. But yeah, shieldless versus the reincarnation in a pop deck, you know, that's just not a good place to be. He had that array shell. But the immediate start with the plus one damage and six aura for the reincarnation, which is perfect for Zexus to counter this. Looks like he is starting. To do some recalls over there. The memory lapse, so it's a memory lapse memory of battle. Double the memory, twice the fun. 
Gonna pick up a scar battle. Lays down and hangs the memory. I'm not sure that that's necessary given what you've seen Darcia do. Because it's gonna make your own memory a battle. Single use? I mean, he's already got him down to five health. One scar might be enough to finish him off as it is. Reincarnation on top of the head will be just as effective. And then this one will be lethal. Darcia, unable to mount a sufficient defense to defend himself during that violent change deck, and that will be a 3-0 for Zexus.